hey hello everyone and welcome back to my channel name learning to learn so yes we have done a lot of things in the past so today we are going to discuss about financial management right we have done a lot of a lot in financial management that what is the meaning of financial management there is a whole playlist which uh, you can uh, see from the description box below or at the end of the video okay so we have done a lot in financial management we have actually uh, tried to solve various question and answers of uh, cost of capital right so in the last session we actually did weighted average cost of capital just let me adjust the camera a bit okay yes this is what we have completed in the previous session then what do we understand by weighted average cost of capital and how is it calculated now today we are going to uh, do further we are going to you can say start with the topic where we will actually calculate uh, each and everything related to cost of weighted average cost of capital okay so yes let's get started but before that a quick update on um, the telegram channel right for latest updates you can follow my telegram channel and if you are not on unacademy you should join unacademy unacademy is india's uh, online leading platform where you can get various notes if you are preparing for nta ugc net csir ugc net or you can say other competitive examinations like upsc or any other you should at least follow once on academy right you'll get a lot of videos live lectures free classes and if you decide to go on plus you can use this referral code right so uh, here you can actually see the various topics which are actually taught on an academy in the cs uh, uh, sorry in the nta ugc net category paper 2 right and uh, this is the exact difference between a uh, using the referral code and not using the referral code so you can pay for like 3 months 6 months 1 month uh, for subscription right so subscription is actually a paid amount a paid course and if you use this referral code aditi live you'll get 10% instant discount and using your student credit you can also avail avail more 10% discount so it will be a total 20% discount right so if you want to join an academy i teach there right and if you are preparing for nta ugc net so this is the high time where you actually join this particular classes okay so yes and uh, i also have two different channels that is try vlog and boss lady and of course uh, i i am right now following this particular schedule that is monday tuesday wednesday management and thursday friday saturday financial management okay so yesterday is financial management now let us try to solve one particular question of working average cost of capital okay but before start starting with that let us try to write the question okay okay so we are starting with writing the question okay so yes let me put this okay fine so we have a question here okay and the question is you can say you need to understand or calculate w a c c of x y z company okay so let us uh, try to figure out the details right equity shares of so, sorry of uh, 4000 shares fully paid up right and the total amount for this is 4 lakh rupees fine then we have 7% debentures at the rate 100 each of rupees 2 lakh 50000 okay now uh, we have 9% preference shares at the rate uh, 100 each of rupees 2 lakh 50000 okay the next is the remaining is retained earning and it is of rupees 1 lakh so the total is 2.5 2.5 so that's 5 lakhs 5 lakhs plus 4 lakhs 9 lakhs 9 lakhs plus 1 lakhs the total is 10 lakhs so i just took a total here okay
okay now let us uh, try to understand other information given in the question okay so the company has earned 20 per share so earning per share here is rupees 20 okay and the shares of the company are sold uh, in the market at book value so all the company shares are sold at book value okay uh, the corporate tax rate tax rate is given as 50 percent this is what we are uh, given here and right so and the shareholders personal tax is like uh, tax of individual is rupees 25 percent okay now we need to calculate working average cost of capital so before starting this particular question i can tell you that we need to first calculate cost of equity capital cost of debt capital cost of preference capital and cost of retained earnings and then we can combine all of them okay so yes let us start with that or we'll start with debt capital then preference then equity and all of them would be after tax okay so yes We'll start with here. We'll start with the solution here. Okay. So, cost of debt capital. After tax. KD is equals to I upon net proceeds, I means interest into 100 into 1 minus T. So, T is tax rate. So, this is the formula which we use normally. Okay. So, interest, okay, mm, it is like uh, 7% of 100 each. So, we can, act, and actually the sale price is also 100. So, we can take 7 upon 100 into 100. 1 minus 0.5 because tax rate is 50 percent this is the values i have just put in i did not do anything else except putting the values right so 7 upon 100 into 100 into 0 0.5 3.5 percent so this is after tax 3.5 percent this is of you can say the cost of debt capital okay so yes let us mark it now after that let's try to calculate cost of preference capital cost of preference capital if you remember preference capital is already when we calculate it is after tax so we need a reverse calculation to do, go for before tax but as we here require after tax only so this will be our formula kp is equals to i upon net proceeds into 100 right so uh, the interest here given is 9 percent right of 100 percent or 100 rupees each right so it becomes a simple one 9 upon 100 into 100 and after tax cost of preference capital is nine percent right so this is also we have calculated now let us go to the next point right cost of equity shares this is also we have after tax okay so yes now uh, let us try to calculate this this is an easy one k is equals to dps or eps dps means dividend per share eps means earning per share right upon market price or book price in 200 so we have here um yes we don't have dps dps is not given but we have given eps so that is 20 and uh, to calculate the cost at book value that is 4 lakh upon 4000 will get 100 rupees per share so we have 4 lakh shares sorry we have 4 lakh rupees of shares and 4000 total shares so sorry so it is 100 rupees per share okay so 4000 people providing 100 rupees per share so the total capital becomes 4 lakh right so the cost or the market price is 100 so 20 upon 100 into 
sorry 20 it is 20 upon 100 into 100 so it would be 20 percent and as you can see debt capital is more than uh, you can sorry equity capital is more than the debt capital right last but not the least is we have cost of retained earning And this is also we are calculating after tax. Okay, now let us put the formula for cost of uh, retained earning, right? So uh, the formula would be KE is equals to DPS or you can say EPS upon market price. Uh, multiplied by 100 into individual tax bracket right so individual tax bracket is given so we need to consider that so that is 1 minus ti okay so that would be 20 as in the above right into 1 minus 0.25 i guess yes it's 25 percent so 0.25 upon 100 into 100 so this would be uh, 1 minus 0 0.25 is 0 0.75 so 1 minus 0 0.25 is 0 0.75 multiplied by uh, 20 right so we have 15 here so 15 upon 100 into 100 so the correct answer would be 15 percent right so this is what we have do done is we have just calculated you can say the various costs right now we have to make a table okay so it's a very simple table I'm going to make serial number okay source cost capital weighted average cost of capital okay so we have four sources right first one was uh, equity right then debt then preference shares then retained earning okay uh, let us see the cost of uh, k is 20 debt is 3.5 20 3.5 then for preference we have 9 and 15 9 for preference and retained earning 15 we are just putting the values here and for 2.5 lakhs 2.5 lakhs and 1 lakh so 4 lakh 2 lakh 50 thousand 2 lakh 50 thousand and 1 lakh so the total becomes 10 lakh right so this we have done here this is the total okay now what we are going to do is we are just going to multiply these two means cost multiplied by capital okay so sorry about the bad handwriting so we have 40,000 into 20 percent so that is 80,000 then 2 lakh 50 thousand into 2.5 sorry 3.5 percent 8750 then 2 lakh 50 thousand into 9 percent 2 lakh sorry 22,500 and 1 lakh into 15 percent that is 15,000 15,000 and we just need to make a grand total so 126250 right so to cross check it i'll just calculate it again because big calculations i calculated twice so 80000 plus 8750 plus 22500 uh, plus 15000 so 126250 now what we need to do is wacc upon total capital into 100 would be our weighted average cost of capital okay so 126 250 upon 10 lakhs okay into 100 would be 126250 upon 10 lakh into 100 12.62 12.625 right so this would be the answer and this is the weighted average cost of capital of this particular question right so i hope you have understood this video this was a very uh, you can say quick video and after going to do after three or four questions i'll start uh, doing very standard questions of ca 
right in cipcc uh, i can give you the questions uh, those are free of cost available on internet online so you can download that and i'll just give you an explanation that how these things work okay so i hope you have understood this video and um, i hope you like my videos if there is still any doubts any problems i would love to help you guys uh please what sorry uh, please uh, comment in the comment section that you actually like this video or not and what do you feel about this video okay so thank you so much take good care of yourself study hard and that's it bye